Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. It's hot today so I have a little fan on, I'm sorry about that, but it's just I wouldn't be able to film if I didn't have it. If you'd like to see how I got this look, I'll try to put a card up there, I've never done that before, but I'll try to do that and I'll definitely put a link in the description box down below to this look. This look that I did today is with two palettes that I made. I feel like I got a lot of the inspiration for this from Georgia Harris and just, and I'll put a link in the description box down below to her channel if you don't know who she is, she's amazing. But I always wanted the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca remix palette and I have a lot of individual pans of eyeshadow and it just never occurred to me to put together my own palette until the whole anti-vax thing came up and I don't have children and I wouldn't ever tell anybody what they should do to their kids. It's just my personal opinion and you're totally entitled to your own opinion if it's different. I completely respect that. But I feel pretty strongly about it. So what I did is I put together, I pulled all of my Kat Von D makeup. I didn't get rid of it. It's still here, but I'm not using it. So I I have the, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and I called this one the Booster Palette. And I'll go through what all of these shadows are. They're a little bit different than what's in the palette. This one in particular is a tiny bit a tiny bit shimmery and not shimmery but kind of satiny and the ones in the palette are all matte so I kind of made this a little bit my own. I also didn't include black because there's black in the in the preventable disease palette and this is the the one based on the Mi Vida Loca remix palette. I used Timtalia. I also have windows open. It's a hot day so there's a dog that's a little yappy. Sorry about that too. There's one color in here that annoys me. It's just this this sugar pill color only annoys me because it's too big. I want things to be a little bit more symmetrical. Yeah, I used Timtali. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I'll put a link in the description box down below to her review for both of these palettes. That's an amazing resource. For the booster pack, the booster palette, I kind of just went through my own collection because I had that, but I don't have the Mi Vida Loca remix palette, so I didn't have that to use as a reference. So I used a lot of Timtalia to just pull from my own collection, and I'm just going to go through these shadows with you. So. The first one, and I'm looking at the Tim Talia website as I'm going through this. I don't know the color offhand. For annoyingly, sugar pill shadows don't have colors on the back, but it's this really beautiful fuchsia. And the color in the Kat Von D palette is called Swoon. And I've organized this kind of the same way that the Mi Vida Loca palette is organized. And it's described and reading from, from Tim Talia, a bright fuchsia pink with cool undertones and a matte finish. Next one is Destroyer. This is described as a medium orange toned red with warm undertones and a matte finish. And this is ColourPop Fortune Cookie. Next is Rewind, described as a medium dark burgundy with warm brown undertones and a plummy sheen. And this is ColourPop Burner. Next is Harpsichord, a medium coppery brown with warm undertones and a frosted sheen. And this is Makeup Geek Untamed. And a lot of these, I didn't actually have the things that she was recommending, that Temtalia was recommending. It's not her name. I forget what her name is, but I'll put it on the screen. But not what she was recommending, but I found something as close as I could or something that I just wanted to have. The next is Analog. Bright tangerine orange with warm yellow orange undertones and a matte finish. And this is ColourPop Bratty. Next is Fran. And this is a sunshine yellow with warm undertones and barely there satin shimmer over a matte finish. And this is pretty matte. This is MAC Chrome Yellow. And this is interesting. The color that the color in the palette is Legend and this is Anastasia Legend. So Legend is a slightly muted light medium yellow gold with warm undertones and a metallic sheen. Interesting that they're both called Legend. Next is Vinyl. It's a light medium chartreuse green with warm yellow undertones and a subtle gold shimmer, but it's mostly matte in practice is what it says. And this is uh, Makeup Geek Fuji. Next is Misfit. And this I didn't really get. This is a little bit cooler. A medium grassy green with warm yellow undertones and a faint green micro shimmer. This is Matt Kelly. Next is Lemmy, which I actually own as a separate as a separate individual pan. And this is described as a medium dark forest green with warm olive brown undertones and a frosted finish. And this is Colored Rain Unexpected. Next is Hyper Ballad, a medium dark bluish teal with cool undertones and a matte finish. And this is Itsy Cosmetics Hyphy. Next is Synth, a bright cyan like blue with very faint silver micro shimmer over a matte finish. And this is also from Itsy. It's Azuline. Next is Dark Wave. It's a muted medium dark navy blue with a mostly matte finish. And this is MAC Zinc Blue. This is definitely different than, than the one that is 
described here. The color in the palette is Echo, a medium dark violet purple with cool blue undertones and a silver sparkle over a matte finish. This is definitely more metallic and not matte uh, than the one that's being described here. This is Sydney Grace Flannel. Next is also Sydney Grace. Muse is a light lavender purple with subtle cool undertones and a satiny sheen, and this is Sydney Grace Winter Wonder. Next is Anthem, a plummy purple with warm undertones and a satin micro shimmer. There's no micro shimmer in this. This is really fairly matte, and this is ColourPop 143. I love this color. It's one of my favorite ColourPop pressed powder colors. Next is Love, a light medium rosy pink with warm yellow undertones and a frosted finish, and this is ColourPop on the fence. Next is Lyric, a light yellowed beige with a pearly sheen, and this is MAC Nylon, which is one of my favorite and probably one of the first MAC eyeshadow colors that I ever used, and I don't use it often, and now it's it's in a palette that I know that I'll be using. Next is Strutter, a light medium taupe brown with warm undertones and a matte finish, and this is MAC Omega, another shadow that I don't use often, and there it is. Next is Vox, dark brown with subtle warm undertones and a matte finish, and this is Makeup Geek Americano. Next is Molder, M-O-U-L-D-E-R, a yellowed beige with a satin finish, and this is Makeup Geek Mirage. It's a really good color just for blending if you have a similar skin tone to me. Next is Noble, and it is a light medium peachy brown with warm undertones and a matte finish. And this is ColourPop Lucky You. This one is definitely different. Well, not really that different. It's more of a duochrome than it is metallic. This is described, this is Skulls, a bright creamy white with a metallic sheen. And this is ColourPop The Big Three, and it's definitely not sure if it's coming across here, but it's definitely more of like a shifting duochrome. Not metallic, but really lovely. And last is Black Metal, which I don't have in the booster pack because it's here. And this is Makeup Geek Corrupt, deep black matte with a neutral undertone and a matte finish. So that is the Preventable Disease palette. All right, and then the booster palette, again, from the Shade and Light Eye Contour palette. First is Latis, a creamy nude, light beige with soft warm undertones and a mostly matte finish, and this is ColourPop Hear Me Out. Next is Lazarus, and as I'm looking at this, is maybe more pink than I want it to be, but I can always switch it out because it's my palette. This is described as a cool taupe, light medium gray, leaning taupe with subtle cool undertones and a matte finish, and this is ColourPop Chic Happens. Next is Ludwin. It's described as a peachy bronze. It's a muted light medium orange with warm undertones and a satiny sheen, and this is ColourPop Secrets. Next is Samael, S-A-M-A-E-L, described as a dusty fawn. It's a muted medium dark brown with warm undertones and a mostly matte finish, and this is ColourPop Wake Up Call. Next is Solas, S-O-L-A-S, and this is interesting. This is described as an espresso brown. It's reddish dark brown with warm undertones and a matte finish, and this is Coastal Scents Blackberry, which is supposed to be kind of purple, but actually kind of fits the bill exactly here for me. Next is Lucius, described as a soft beige, light beige with warm undertones and a pearly sheen, and this is MAC Vanilla. Next is Salios, described as a smoky brown. It's a muted dark taupe brown with a subtle cool undertone and a matte finish. This is ColourPop Cloud9. Next, I am not including because it's in the Preventable Disease palette, is Shax. It's a jet black with cool undertones and a matte finish. Next is Liberatus, and this is the one that's a little bit different. It is described as a pinkish ivory, it's cool toned with a hint of beige and a matte finish, and this is Surat Creme de la Creme, so it's a little bit more satiny, I think, and less pink, more yellow. Next is Succubus, described as a rich rust, it's a muted medium dark coppery brown with warm red undertones and a mostly matte finish. This is ColourPop Top Notch. And then I also, there's, there is one color in here that seems, this is the actual Shade and Light eye contour, eye contour palette. And this one here always has felt really white to me. And I like a white, a matte white shadow. So I also included Feather River Beauty, which is now Sydney Grace Snow Queen. So these are my two palettes. And let me know if you have put together any palettes based on other palettes or based on just your own. I'm, I am really enjoying, I have actually put together other palettes of my own, not based on anything actual that I was trying to base it on. But this was a good, a good experiment for me because, I mean, I have a lot of individual pans. I have always wanted the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix palette and 
was never going to be able to get it and then now kind of don't want it because of the whole anti-vax thing. And again, that's my opinion. I feel really strongly about it, but I also respect the opinions of other people. So if you believe differently than me, I totally respect that. It's just my, my opinion. So link in the description box down below to this look and thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your time. There's a lot to do in the world, a lot to do on YouTube, and it means a lot that you spent some time with me today. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.